Hi, I'm Heath, and today we'll be testing the Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 GC553 G2 capture card from Ava Media. These guys have created a palm-sized external device that can capture up to 4K60 live video and pass through up to 4K144 thanks to a combination of high-speed HDMI and USB protocols. Let's take a closer look and answer that burning question, will it work with vMix? Actually, spoilers, the answer is yes. And it pretty much always is for these videos. It will work with vMix. But there are a few important things to understand and one very important step relating to video formats that I'll cover, so stick around. The great thing about USB capture cards is they often work out of the box with no need to download special drivers. So let's just plug this device in and see what happens. I'm using the two cables provided in the box because they're both specifically designed to handle the needs of this device. The first cable is an HDMI cable, which is 2.1 certified. This actually allows it to handle more than 4K60, and this is handy if you're going to take advantage of the pass-through feature and are capturing, say, a 144Hz monitor feed. If you want to know more about pass-through, check out our adding console gaming video in the description. I won't be using pass-through because I'm interested in bringing in a 4K60 camera source into vMix and don't actually need a field monitor because it's built into the camera. All right, I've already set my camera up to output a clean 4K60 output over HDMI. You will need to check that your camera can do this too because while many cameras can record 4K60, most can't actually output a live HDMI feed at this resolution and frame rate. The second cable is a Type-C USB 3.2 Gen 2 cable capable of 10 gigabits per second transfer. There are two important things to note here. One, your computer is going to need to support USB 3.2 Gen 2. So check your motherboard specifications and ensure that it does this. And also make sure that you actually use one of those ports. And two, it's normal for multiple USB ports to be wired to the same internal point or root hub in your computer, especially if they're located close to each other physically. This root hub will only support one device at maximum speed. So while each of those USB ports might say they're USB 3.2 Gen 2, if you plug too many things in, you're likely to have some issues. Okay, with these cables plugged in and with a vMix 4K60 production set up, it's just a matter of adding the camera. And there's just one small trick to it. So we'll go to add input. And then we'll click on camera. And from the camera list, we'll find our device, which is the Live Gamer Ultra 2.1 video. We've got the resolution set up correctly for 4K. We've got our 60p frame rate set up. And now for the most important thing, we need to adjust the video format because to support 4K60 over USB 3.2 Gen 2, the default format isn't suitable. We need to select NV12. I'll get a tad technical for a second and say that NV12 is a 4.2.0 chroma subsampling scheme, making it more efficient than say YUY2, which is a 4.2.2 format. But this efficiency has a cost of a slight reduction in picture quality. If this is an issue for you and you want to stick with YUY2, then you'll need to select a frame rate of 50 or less. Lastly, I'm going to leave the audio setting as it is, and I'm going to click on OK. And that's it. We are now bringing in a 4K60 live feed over USB, which is pretty incredible at the time of recording, which is in 2023. Now, it wouldn't be a full Will It Work With vMix video without actually, actually testing, testing the, the product. product. So I'm gonna take our trusty Panasonic DVX200 out into the field. So here we have our 4K60 content coming in. 
Now we can actually zoom this times two and still achieve a 1080p resolution, which is pretty cool and one of the greatest benefits of 4K content. It allows you to move around your frame and really frame things up the way that you want. This training video is in 1080p, so that allows us to zoom in and out of this footage without losing any quality. Now, there's a few very important things to note when it comes to 4K60 live video. The most important thing is that it's very demanding for your computer. We keep a list of reference systems on our website so that you can gauge the type of hardware you might be needing. Also, we typically don't recommend using more than one USB capture device on a PC. While most will handle two, at 4K60, don't be surprised if you hit a few snags if you try this. And just one more thing. There are times when HDMI isn't ideal, particularly if you need to run long cable runs from your camera to your computer. So one option would be to run 12G SDI and convert to HDMI. There are a handful of devices out there that can do this from companies like Blackmagic Design and Decimator Design, but we might touch on that in another video sometime in the future. For now, if you want to know more about vMix or the devices that work with it, check out our other training videos on YouTube and the resources on the website at vMix.com. We've got a massive list of supported devices you can use with vMix and a free 60-day trial of vMix Pro that you can download and start playing with today. Thanks for tuning into this Will It Work With vMix video. I hope to see you on the next one.